Now, all black players in Japan say the hardest thing in the long breaks between games at this World Cup is thinking about and missing their families. If the defending champions reach the final, they would have been away for more than two months. And it's not just the players, there's the coaches and officials. And let's not forget our reporters. Joe Porter has been there since before the first kickoff and is in for the long haul as well. Joe has three kids, a six-year-old daughter, a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son. And he caught up with all black flags Anchor, Matt Todd, who also has two young girls and a baby boy. The two men caught up about raising those little kids, how much they miss them, and also remembering who is doing the hard yards at home. Yeah, it is tough, you know. Um, you know, it's probably harder on the wife left back at home. She's the one that has to look after them, want to get them sorted each day and whatnot. So it's tough, especially, I guess, if they're, they're sick or, you know, they're struggling back at home, then you feel a bit useless all the way over here. So Do you say your youngest was one, is that right? Yeah, youngest was one. So it's hard, I guess, being away for a couple of months because one-year-olds can change a lot in two months. Yeah, they certainly do. And, um, yeah, like even just, you know, FaceTime them, seeing them on, uh, you know, on a screen, you can see the changes and the, the development that they have in that time. So I guess it is tough when you, like, if you're away for milestones, you know, they take their first steps or, or stuff like that. Or like my daughter's got her birthday next week, so you're away for stuff like that can be tough. How do you find it when you've had a tough day at the office and you can be a bit frustrated, but you know that back home things are actually 100,000 times harder and you try not to, I guess, reflect that frustration when you're talking to your wife because she's going, well, hey, mate, I'm here with three kids. you got the easy job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no matter how tough it's here, um, you're not going to get any sympathy from back home, that's for sure. So uh, I think it's just awareness, you know, especially around dinner time and it's chaos in the background and screaming and it's all go. You've got to try and be as supportive and understanding as you can be and, and know that it's it's tough for them. It's tough if you're, when you are over here and, and they are struggling. It's even harder because, you know, you are over here, feel useless. This is the longest I've been away from my kids and I'm certainly struggling a bit. How do you find it when your kids are, excuse me, upset on FaceTime, for example, and you can't be there to, to comfort them. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely t- tough and seeing them upset, seeing them sad or struggling or, or sick and, and when you can't be there to help. Um, it is tough and, yeah, it's, it's, it never gets any easier as well, you know. Have you ever had any moments where you're just like, I just want to get back on that plane and get home? Oh, I guess from time to time you do. It's, um, like you say, when they're upset or they're struggling or you're missing milestones or yeah. something, you know, special stuff for them, it's... It can be tough. I just wanted to get your thoughts on, you've got two daughters, similar age to mine, how important it is to role model the kind of behaviour, especially the way you treat your wife in front of them, because a lot of research would suggest that daughters end up being in relationships with guys that models the same that you treat their wife in a way, you know? So if you treat them really well with a lot of respect, if they ever find themselves in a situation that perhaps is slightly abusive, they'll know that's not right and they'll get out, whereas if you don't, the flip side can happen, yeah? Yeah, for sure, and that, my wife's always talking about that, you know, you, you know, we want to raise, I guess, strong, um, strong-minded daughters, you know, so strong-minded woman and that, and, and teach them what is right and, and wrong and, and what's acceptable and what's not. As a parent, you're always learning and, yeah. and developing in that, so you want to try and raise your children as, as best you can and instill the best values and that you can in them. You know, when you, have, when you do get frustrated, you've got to sort of take that step back and control your emotions and, I guess, say to them, look, it's OK to be angry, sad, upset, this is the better way to deal with it. Come away, reflect and calm down a little bit rather than, you know, blowing up. Yeah, it is, and I think being a, a parent that teaches a lot of valuable life lessons about how to deal with different situations, you know, it is frustrating at times or stressful at times, but um, like you were saying, the, the better you can handle and deal with those situations, that, that's what your kids see and that's what your kids learn and that's what's important as a parent that you are in control and showing, you know, the children how you want to, I guess, act and, and respond to different situations. And that's Matt Todd talking with Joe Porter in Japan.